The Dark Side of Qigong and Chinese Martial Arts Written and channeled by Saifu Nathan Lam The reason why I am writing this channeled message is because many people especially within the Chinese community have a fear of Qigong and think it's an evil cult. I am here to debunk this with a bit of history on Qigong and to educate you on this topic because people fear what they don't understand. During the ancient times of China many warriors wanted to find the secret of immortality since there was so many wars during the fall of Atlantis and Biblical era, these Kung Fu warriors would travel around China searching for the secrets on how to live a long life and become the strongest warrior of all. Many of these people were fueled with hatred and anger and wanted revenge for other bandits or warriors that murdered or raped their wives and children. This brought them to go to places like Shelin Temple, Mudang Mountain, Hua Mountain, Kunlun Mountain and Imai Mountain. Many of these warriors that display their need for revenge would be turned down since their heart was not in the right place to be learning the secrets of Qigong and Kung Fu. Qigong is a powerful weapon that could be used to heal people or harm people because yin and yang is present in everything. Some of these warriors would act righteous just to get into these places of learning but then still hide the need for revenge in their hearts, some would sneak into the temples and steal the textbooks, some would seek other nomadic instructors. Each time they would train in the Qigong art the outcome usually was the same because they had so much hatred and revenge in their hearts they would at some point in the trainings Yuo Hua Yim Mo which means become possessed by demons. They would screw up and reverse their energy flow causing all sorts of blockages and internal injuries resulting in a state of psychosis or schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. This could be reversed if the practitioner was willing to drop his Qigong and martial arts training to become a strict Taoist or Buddhist. Most often it was a downward spiral towards suicide or becoming murdered afterwards. If they didn't die they would often go into the Mojiao or Mokai which means the demon satanic sect, cult, which were a clan of people that would prey on the weak. Women and children were most sought after because they held the most light in society. Since the Mopai or in other words the dark side of the force would be literally cut off from light and love they would have to take it from others to survive. They would often resort to rape murder and torture in order to get this energy from others. This practice is still going on in the world today in secret societies such as the global elite, Illuminati, and Dark Cabal. You see elements of this evil coming out in the world's governments, Vatican and also Hollywood. The ones that did survive ended up becoming a monk and adopting a monastic lifestyle away from society. They would often get exorcised by a higher priest or monk and live out a good life afterwards. This story has been repeated and passed down through Chinese history in the form of Wuxia stories especially from Jin Yang's novels, which is an encyclopedia of traditional Chinese culture. These stories are protected by celestial beings in order for the history and culture to be passed down to each generation to preserve these ideas and sacred wisdom. Because of these stories many people have become afraid of practicing the internal Kung Fu of Qigong and Nagong but the benefits outweigh the risks. If done properly this practice could heal and repair any internal type of injury within the body and make you much stronger and more adaptable to daily stresses. Try a class for yourself and try it out, but make sure you have a good coach to guide you through the internal techniques to ensure safety. Adopt a positive attitude while training release your hatred and fears and you will see your life change for the better. In this time of massive change and consciousness shift on this planet internal Kung Fu is one of many tools that could ease this shift and lead you into the new world with love and light. Namaste. Saifu Nathan Lamb